what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back i'm relaxing today trying to get a couple of sons of anarchy done oh wow oh wow things are getting real testy and real troubling man um clay has definitely become you know one of my least favorite characters in the show if not the less i don't think I don't think any, there's anyone taking that place at this, at this point. Sorry. So, Claire's decided to put out a hit on Tara because he wants to keep his secret. Because it's not as if Tara would, you know what I'm saying? Like, the thing about this is that it's not as if Tara would go report him to the police or anything like that. You know what I'm saying? The worst that could come out of this is that he would get pushed out of the club because I don't think Jax would go as far as to kill him or maybe he would who knows maybe Jax would kill him because I mean he did kill his dad you know what I'm saying and took his place and then start calling him son like all of those things are feelings that are going to bubble to the top and I have a feeling that Jax is going to find out but I don't know how much longer they could milk this you know I mean, things are getting wild. Juice, <sighs> just a stroke of luck. But I think he's still, you know, Chibs is still have his high on him. He still suspects him. So we'll we'll see how that turns out. But anyways, without no further ado, let's jump into these reactions, man. And I will see you guys for the review. All right, so that was Sons of Anarchy season four, episode seven and eight. Man, Ooh, we're closing in. We're closing in. We got what six six more episodes to go. <sighs> As if it couldn't get any worse, right? I mean, how can, <sighs> bruh? I think. I think. I'm lost for words. <laughs> That's how good this show is. Wow. You know, I've seen a lot of things on TV, don't get me wrong. But this is just, it's just one of those things like you feel like you get so immersed in the show where you feel like you're a part of the show. And I would have never thought that they would have figured out a way to off a character like piney in this show why he's old man he you know what i'm saying he's walking around with oxygen you know what i'm saying you you would think that piney would be one of those untouchable plot armor characters in the show that would have lasted throughout the whole show you know but they found a way to 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 do it and do it in a very good way too and that's what about this storytelling in this show that just goes to show you that they're very careful in what they're doing to make a character extremely, extremely significant and even in the death of that character still being in, in, the, um, in the circle of being one of the best characters in the show. Now, Piney started off, you know what I'm saying, the relationship... As me looking at him from a character, it was a bit shaky. But then I really started to respect this character in the show. I think it was at the end of season one. Going into season two. You know what I mean? When Jax, you know, when he gave Jax the second copy of the, you know, of John's memories. 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 Mem memor memories. <laughs> right? Um, so I definitely understand where they were trying to go with that and how things worked and how it was going. And you know what I'm saying? Like the relationship developing this character over the past couple of seasons, they've really brought it to a place where we can say, okay, Clay is just an asshole. Like what? I just don't understand. Like this dude would do anything. And it's the truth. When Piney said it's the very truth. 
he only cares about himself he's an he's a really really selfish person and everything that comes out of his mouth is basically like it's empty oh son this dude don't care about nobody but himself he says what you what he thinks you want to hear you know what i'm saying he just does he says those things that he thinks you you want to hear in the moment or whatever just to be able to pass you know for 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 the time to pass by you know what i'm saying i think there's very little that he says that's actually meaningful especially when it comes on to love and stuff like that i think he really does want to be out the game you know what i'm saying but he's just taking it's such a bad road to to that end you know what i mean and these these risk you know and you know it's good i'm i'm happy that tara is leaving i really am i really am um happy that she's deciding to leave because i think that is best now you know is she gonna be protected from the cartel that's yet to be seen where she's going but it's good she'll leave because i don't think there is a real threat to her life and they don't know what the real threat is you get what i'm saying because they don't think it's a real threat like nobody really thinks that it's a real you know they think that it is that cartel but it's actually the galindo that they need to be worried about when it comes on to tara's life so you know there's still that situation where they could still find out where she is and go after her because clay wants her dead period right so i don't know man i don't know there's so many things that are like to the point where you're looking at it and you're like what well, what is going to happen next like what's really going to happen in the show you know what i mean like jews trying to kill himself i don't know if he's gonna confess to chibs i mean either way they're gonna have to take him out because he he betrayed the club instead of being honest with the club so either way he's going to die if he if he chose to hang himself or he chooses to be honest. The only thing left for him to do for him to stay alive right now is to cooperate with the police, which is is a death in itself also. You know? So there is a lot more to what's going on and what will transpire in, in, in the future. You know, um, this war that is going on, I, I've been talking... I talk about this the first time they got into bed with the cartel. You don't just do that. You don't just do that. If you're not planning to be there until death, you do not sign away your life to the cartel. It's just a general rule of, rule of life. You just don't get involved with cartels, no matter what is going on. No, I mean, the only way you should be in with the cartel it should be by accident it should not be by choice <laughs> okay it should be by accident you know so it's just crazy to see that man i'm loving this show i'm loving the story the story is definitely fire season four it um definitely going well i'm enjoying it i appreciate y'all for tuning in as always man leave a like on the video leave a comment you guys are not commenting on these videos man it's like a hundred of y'all watching these reactions and none of y'all comment on the videos. And I just don't know what's what's happening. It's like one, maybe two people, maybe one or two comments per SOA uploads. It's just like, I just don't know what to tell y'all anymore. I'm just going to watch the show and upload because me asking you guys for likes and and, and comments, is, is, is it's like pulling teeth at this point, to be honest. It's like pulling teeth. To be honest but anyways guys i appreciate y'all regardless thank you guys see y'all for the next one peace